Hey, thanks for checking out my InstaDoodle review where I'm going to be going over how this software works, what I liked about it, and what felt a little bit iffy to me. Now, if you'd like to get more details or simply pick up InstaDoodle, you can click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment to get a lifetime offer with one-time pricing. Let's begin. So right off the bat, something I noticed is that InstaDoodle is great when it comes to not only creating but completing your animations, and they have plenty of tutorials to help you out in the process if needed. Let's say we want to create a new one using manual mode right here. They have a bunch of different template galleries that you can utilize here. If you scroll down, there's not going to be too many of them, but at least some of them are going to help you where, you know, if you want to save some time in the process, you can do that. I'm always a big fan of templates because they allow you to get up and running very quickly. So there's going to be some here, not a ton, but even if you go with an empty project, it's still going to go pretty quickly. I'll give you an example. Let's say we just want to pick this one right here for business. Let's click on next. All right, so here is the dashboard and it's pretty simple to get acquainted to. I went through one or two tutorials and I'm like, yep, got it, good to go. If you look at the left side here, we have the doodles. Under this is gonna be custom, which is me. I uploaded a picture of myself. We're gonna have characters and we're also gonna have props there. Aside from that, there's gonna be text where you can choose a bunch of different ones. Anyone with the star here is gonna be for pro upgrades. Of course, we have layers as well. And this just showcases what's gonna be drawn first, where I go like wood texture, tablet's gonna be on top, and then so on and so forth. So it is pretty easy to get the hang of. Down below, you're gonna have each of your specific slides. And what I'm gonna do is just play this for you so you can see what it looks like. This is gonna be a template where if you needed to edit it, you click on it, change things around, and just go ahead and do it that way. So here we go. We're gonna have everything pushed up, move forward. This is gonna be the text that you can change around. So all of this is already done for you, which is great. So if you want an easy presentation to edit, you can go in, change around these templates. And as you can see, it's great because it's gonna draw everything for you. And I think a very big benefit of this is that even if you create slides where it just has like a person and an object, you don't need a whole lot else because the fact that it's gonna be drawing is a great way to keep someone's attention. And that's something I really like. So I'm gonna stop it right here. Let's say we're right here and we wanted to change this around. This is gonna be, gonna be where you add your text, okay? So if you wanted to use templates that way, you can definitely do it. There are a lot of properties that you can change around as showcased here with the font, the size. So if you're really meticulous about the colors, the font, how big it is, the animation, you can definitely edit a lot of those things. And that's gonna be good in case you really wanna get everything perfect to say maybe the color that you have, maybe related to your brand or your niche or whatever else it's gonna be. So that's an example of using a template. Let's go back. All right, and once again, we're gonna do manual mode right here. Let's click on next. And for this, we're just gonna do an empty project just to kind of showcase the quickness and the acceleration of being able to create something. It doesn't have to be as crazy as the one we just saw previously, but let me give you an example. Let's click on next. All right, so here we have with characters. Let's say we wanna do something business related. As you can see, I've typed in a few here. Let's do business. Like we might have a business person here. We can also go with props too. If we type in business, we could do like laptop or business. Okay, so we have business meeting. And as you're gonna see, a lot of the ones with stars are gonna be on pro, which I find to be quite the tease, which I will talk about a little bit later. Let's just say we do laptop as well. Okay, desk with a laptop. Maybe we want to do characters. We can do laptop. Let's see if that one's there. Okay, so let's see middle-aged man, elderly man, overweight man. Uh, let's see, and something. Let's say we want to do this one. So what we can do is click it right there and we can add it. So let's just say this was going to be like a random one. Like if you're looking to make more money online, so we can do like props. Let's do money. There we go. We can do money bag. And as you can see, since I added it twice or the second time, what we can do is go to layers and it should be up top. So that means that when we play this, this one's gonna be drawn out first and then this one. So let me actually go here and play it for you. And there we go. So that's what I'm talking about when I say you don't need to focus on doing so many things because the fact that there's going to be a hand drawing it can really catch someone's attention. Of course, it doesn't have to be as basic as this, but that's something I really like. If you just had this right here, it would look pretty like boring. It'd be like a little bit bland. But the fact that you have the actual doodle animation is a really big perk. Obviously, that's what the software is about, right? So that's great there. We have our properties and we have our project as well. What you can do is change around your hands. So there's female hands, there's male cards. 
cartoons, female cartoons. As you're going to see, there's going to be more pro ones that you can use. There's even a Santa Claus hand, which I find fantastic. Let's go back. Uh, I think that's going to be good there. Let's move this back over here and let's have Santa work his magic. All right, that's great. Okay, so Santa's going to be drawing it now. So just being a little silly here, but if you did want to change that around, you certainly can. We would move on to the second one and say we can do blank slide. Now we can go back to our doodles. We can look for... All right, I did upset. So now we have Tom who has a headache, like they're not making any money, you know, so they're clearly upset here. What's something that's going to be related to it? Say I'm just going to do that like they're upset. They're not seeing any results. All right, and so say something happens. Let's say we're gonna do a new slide here. I just did blank slide and I typed in money right here and I'm gonna do investor. I'm gonna make this bigger. So just kind of an example of saying like, you know, someone is looking to build their business, they're looking to generate sales. We saw the first one, I'm just gonna kind of quickly talk over it. So in the beginning, someone is looking to start a business from their laptop and make money, generate sales. This is kind of just giving a voiceover idea where, you know, then what's gonna be happening here, they're struggling. And then of course, you know, eventually they, they win, all right? So that's kind of an example of what that's going to look like when you look through and play all of these. And ideally, what it comes down to is using some of the custom aspects here. So there's gonna be me, if you wanted to use a version of you, there's gonna be characters, there's gonna be props. We have text as well, which we can use to make it look like better. So like, you know, struggling to do this, or like, you know, you could put that there, struggling to make money, you know, like find the good solution, and you could put that there. And once again, layers I talked about previously, there's only one here, but it's really gonna be what is drawn first. So this gets drawn first, then this one, then the one above it. So pretty straightforward, right? There is one thing I did notice that I think could be a lot better. So with this slide, and it's gonna be voiceovers. You can generate voiceovers, but once again, it's gonna be a add-on, which once again, I feel it's quite the tease. You know, you can, you can upload a voiceover. So if you wanted to use your own, you can do that as well. There's even a tutorial that explains it and goes a little bit more in depth. But all in all, you can see how quickly you can kind of create these using what they give you just in the basic version. And if we're talking about the basic version, we have a lifetime offer with a one-time payment. So pay once and profit for life. So you get no monthly fees. You get to create unlimited videos, which is great. It's a drag and drop editor, but what I like doing is just clicking on the character and it'll move it over. You can drag and drop it as well. You get a thousand plus doodle elements. You do get 150 AI credits. And if you're curious about how those work, let me actually show you right now and go back. All right, so right here, I have a blank new slide. I'm gonna do upload image. And here I wanna do AI image to sketch. This is gonna be an example of using one credit. So I'm gonna upload a file of myself. Okay, and I'm gonna select this. Once again, these are gonna be the ones if you have add-ons. So I'm gonna do black and white and I'm gonna do add to library. All right, and it has been successfully added to library. So if we go to custom right here, there we have it. So this is gonna be the real version. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can kind of compare and contrast what they look like. And then this is gonna be the AI version, or excuse me, the AI kind of like sketched version. So let's go like this. So those are gonna be the two. And if we wanted to add text just to show you, let's do scratch, let's do marketing island. Let's make this a little bit bigger. If you ever wanted to add text, that's my YouTube channel. So let's do that. And we have layers once again. So it's just gonna showcase which ones get drawn first. So if you wanna move this, you can just do it like that. That means marketing island is gonna get drawn first. So let me show you how that works. Let's click on play. There it goes. So the marketing island team me, myself, and I. So <laughs> there's gonna be that sketch, and you're gonna notice it's gonna go to color, and this one is just going to stay how it is. Okay, so that's how you can use some of the AI credits. That's just one way of doing it, okay? So with that in mind, let me close out my InstaDoodle review where I talked about what I really liked and what I feel could be improved upon a little bit. So. So I actually liked InstaDoodle quite a bit. It's super easy to use after a tutorial or two, you'll be drawing like you've been pitching explainer videos since 2010. And you don't need to overload your scenes with fancy stuff either because the drawing animation itself does the heavy lifting to keep eyeballs glued to the screen. And hey, unlimited videos with a one-time price, that's music to any content creator's caffeinated ears. Now, here's the part where I lovingly shake my head. The upgrades, oh man, they are everywhere. It's like every time you click around, someone's dangling a shinier carrot in front of your mouse. Color upgrade right here. Yep, you guessed it. Extra characters. Yep, more elements, obviously. AI wizard and of course. Now, I get it. It's the name of the marketing game, but even with my upsell friendly brain, I feel like they could have packed just a little bit more value into their base offer.
Still, if you're sticking with just the front end like I did, you're getting solid value for what it does. But if you want to squeeze every last doodle drop out of it, those upgrades might be worth a peek. And if you want to grab InstaDoodle at a special one-time price, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment before a hand draws it off the screen for good. My name is James, thanks again for watching my InstaDoodle review, and enjoy!